I'm Anthony Maltese. To be honest, it was a cute sorority girl in my intro to geology class. I started out as a Germanic languages and literatures major in college, and uh, well, apparently this is my uh, future now. <laughs> Um, indirectly through dinosaurs and that kind of stuff ever since I was a little kid. So I kind of fell away from it and came back into the fold back in the, in the long, long ago, in the 1990s. My favorite geology thing to do is to actually go out hiking, because we can do that here in Colorado, and uh, bring my wife along and just annoy her with all kinds of facts about rocks and stuff that we see along the way. It's great. She gets really frustrated. But, you know, you can see all kinds of cool stuff when you're, when you're wandering around in nature. I'm the curator here at the Rocky Mountain Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado. Basically, I get paid to go wander around Montana, South Dakota, and Kansas, find dinosaurs, dig them up, bring them back to the lab, and then we uh, prepare them, take all the rock and matrix off of the, uh, the bones, uh, and then either get them ready for molding and casting so we can make cast replicas of them or mount the original dinosaurs onto steel armatures. From then, you know, we either ship them off all across the world or sometimes I get paid to go to places like South Korea and go set up new museums over there. You know, it's really tough to come up with an answer to why my career is important. It's the whole justify your existence thing. But I think that Getting people educated about certain things like geology and paleontology is really important because, you know, the world is full of stupid people and we don't need any more of them. The thing I love most about my career is that a lot of times I'm the first person ever to see something. When you're going out and you make a new cool discovery, you get to, you get to be the person that uncovers this for the first time, takes all the rock off of them, and then you can be excited and get other people excited about it too by telling them all about it, by publishing papers on it, by doing YouTube videos on the subject. And I think that's probably the best thing about paleo. My most favorite or funniest day at my job. Well, I'm not going to go into funny because there's all kinds of random funny stuff that happens all the time here in the lab um, and even in the field. But I think my mo most favorite part of it was uh, we got to shoot a episode of River Monsters with Jeremy Wade uh, a couple of years ago. And so we brought Jeremy Wade out in the field of Kansas and it's just really cool to have this guy that's like the superstar on Animal Planet following you around, looking at the things that you're finding in the ground and asking you all kinds of really interesting questions. He was one of the best people that we've ever had to work with and that's saying a lot because we've had a lot of reality shows follow us out in the field. and. Um, well, let's just say instead of interesting or favorite parts, they were just probably the funniest parts of the job. Technology-wise, it varies. Um, we'll use things like GIS to find um, outcrops and make sure that um, we're mapping all of our, our stuff correctly. We use laser scanning and 3D printing a lot in our uh, reconstructions of animals because sometimes they don't have all their legs still attached to them or anywhere near them. And so uh, we'll, uh, we'll laser scan the missing parts, flip them around in the computer, 3D print out the other parts that we need for the uh, reconstruction. We'll use like UV lasers to find uh, soft tissue on these animals. Um, we've even done like scanning electron micro microscope work or CT scans, all kinds of really cool stuff to, uh, to allow us to look in further detail on these animals. Do I think it's important for people to study geology? I think so. I mean, I'm biased because I have a degree in geology, but I think that when you know a little bit about the actual physical world around you, it just helps you out as a person. You can, you, you see the world in a different way. Bye. <laughs>